All right, welcome back to the channel, guys. Welcome back. Thank you for watching the last video. Mm, mm, I'm glad you guys left your comments. Now, here's the thing. We're going to talk about pretty much why I feel the release of the In Motion Challenger um, elevated the release of the T4 and why I think this should be celebrated. Okay, like have a holiday, a T4 holiday. I'm joking, but it should be celebrated. So again, just like before, I made some points that I felt are important to focus on. For me, I love the suspension. I love the mudguard. Tiny little things, but hey, for me, it doesn't take much to impress. But it's a small package. These are two important things that the goad in the past just never really paid attention to. For example, with my MSB, I still don't have a mud guard, so I can only ride when it's not raining. But anyway, another thing that's important for me is the LCD display. Now, just like the master, it's exactly where it should be versus the RS, which they placed on the side. Definitely not user friendly, right? Another point is double charging port, similar to that of the hero. Now, having two charging ports is very helpful. I typically charge with both chargers during the day if I need to get back up to full charge in a hurry. But I always use one charger at night. So in my opinion, slow charging is the best choice for battery life long term. Also, keeping the charger connected to your wheel after it's been charged for about an hour or so uh, helps with the balancing of the individual cells as well. I love the small dimensions of the wheel, but honestly, it seems very similar to the dimensions of my MSB and the RS. The RS is about 22 inches in height versus the approximately 17 inches in height of the T4. Although I'm not sure uh, if it's with the suspension fully pumped or not. So one of the problem areas with the MSB and the RS, as well as the old MSX 84 volt, the M Super, um, which these new wheels are basically based on, was the placement of the trolley handle. It made it really hard to trolley the thing around. And now finally Bigode has not only solved that one issue, but it took an entire redesign of a wheel to make it happen. Very excited about this. Now, with that said, the T4 is the perfect wheel for anyone worried that electric unicycles needs to go back to its roots of being extremely portable. And the GOAT executed this in amazing fashion with the release of the T4. Now, obviously, this is a mini master, as Zen Lee likes to call it. And I'm totally in love with this thing. Totally excited about it. I don't often go off-roading, but when I do, it's for a short period. And usually I do it with extreme care because of how much damage can be done both to the wheel and my body, you know, due to bumps and sometimes crashing. Now with the T4 being in such a small package, it also has suspension to overcome roots, branches, rocks, etc. you know, the stuff we know about and the overall discomfort that comes with off-roading in general. It's only a hundred millimeters of travel, but coming from a non-suspension wheel, that's more than enough for me. Also, having the seat baked into the design is another major plus. It's literally a mini master. Another great thing about this wheel is the torque. I personally wish there was a speed version, but hey, that's why I have an EXN and a high-speed MSP. The torque version of this wheel makes a ton of sense considering the primary purpose of this thing is hitting up the trails. Now, what's interesting about this wheel is that similar to the Nikola, I don't want to mess it up. I usually say Nicola, Nicola. It's a 17 inch wheel. Interesting. I assume it's a 3.5 or maybe three inches wide uh, width of the, of the tire. Now, the cool thing about having a wheel that size at 100 volts is the takeoff. Because it's so small, 100 volts gives this thing amazing performance. And if you've ever ridden a Nicola, you'll know what I'm talking about. Now, with that said, the hollow motor is going to make this thing an absolute torque king. I know that because many off-roading riders swear by the performance of the RS, and although a bit inferior, I also swear by the performance of my torque MSP. They gave us everything we needed for off-roading in an extremely small package that you would get in a more expensive master, but without the price tag and extra weight. Anyway, the weight is still above that of the RS at around 79 pounds, pretty much the same as the Hero, um, which sort of makes sense with the added suspension, the metal frame, and the aluminum substrate for the main board. It's a small wheel, 
but it still packs a punch. Now for my overall opinion on this wheel and why I think the release of the T4 should be celebrated. I strongly feel if it wasn't for the release of the Emotion Challenger, the T4 would still have traction, but considering that many of us did not expect the Challenger to be so big and so pricey, all of this ended up making the T4 an obvious choice for thousands of riders. So the release of the Challenger was a bittersweet one due to the comments from many potential buyers. On one hand, riders were excited about the top lift speed. Then we were excited about the design and then the rails. Then we were excited about the suspension. But when the battery capacity was announced along with both the overall weight of the unit plus the sticker shocker of a price tag, many people felt in motion pretty much shot itself in the foot. And as I'm sure many of you know, it's really hard to ride a wheel on one leg. So the T4 is probably one of the most unexpected and timely releases that Bagot could ever have made even more so than that of the Master, or even the Master Pro. It's as if these competing EUC manufacturers are playing checkers while Bigode continues to demonstrate its prowess in chess. This is very exciting, guys, and I've just been binge-watching pretty much every T4 video posted, and maybe we should set up a T4 release party, because for a long time, EUCs have been headed in the wrong direction weight-wise to the unsatisfaction of many. Well, this is a clear indication that Bigod has indeed changed their ways for the better and is now keenly listening to the market. So what do you guys think about this wheel? Are you guys excited? Will you be purchasing it? If so, please use the link in the description to purchase your T4. This will help me uh, get a small kickback. So guys, I can't wait to replace one of my MSPs, most likely my Torque MSP uh, with this T4. And um, I honestly hope they release a speed version because I like the size. It just reminds me of my MSP. Anything above my MSP in terms of height, it's just, you know, it's kind of overkill for me. Uh, I have my EXN. It's exciting. If I get the master, I'm not going to be too happy because it's a 2400 watt hour battery. The T4 is, is, is perfect. It's a perfect machine. Okay. So... If you love suspension, if you love off-roading, and if you hate the fact that the InMotion Challenger is not what you quite expected, the T4 is the answer. So guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully, hopefully InMotion now responds to that by releasing a smaller version of the Challenger. I think it would get off the shelf like hotcakes. So let's see. Let's see. Thanks for watching, guys. Happy writing.